The wound healing can be defined as the repair or replacement of damaged or destroyed tissue with newly formed tissue. Or it is the response of an organism to a physical disruption of a tissue or an organ with an aim to repair or reconstitute the defect in the tissue and then to re-establish the hemostasis. Here in this diagram we can see where the tissue damaged. Then to this damaged tissue the body launches an action to fix it and we get the rapier tissue. Now before getting to the process of wound healing, let's see what are the phases of wound healing. The first phase is the hemostasis, followed by inflammation, then proliferation and then remodeling. So basically we have four different phases. Briefly we can see in hemostasis we have the fibrin formation and coagulation and then the bleeding stops. In inflammation step, we have the recruitment of inflammatory cells like neutrophils, PMN, and macrophages. Then we have the third step, that's proliferation, where fibroblasts are recruited first, which lay the collagen in wound bed, followed by the epithelization, then granulation, matrix production, and finally we have the scar initiation. Now we have the fourth phase, that's remodeling phase where first of all we see the scar is established. The collagen synthesis is stopped and we get a degradation and then reorganization. Now let's discuss the wound healing in detail. Here in this diagram we have the skin tissue. It has three important layers. The epidermis having keratinocytes, then dermis which supports blood circulation and then subcutaneous layer or hypodermis which we have not shown here. So when we get the damage to the skin tissue shown in the diagram, we destruct these layers and then the hemostasis comes into play. Where first of all, when the damage to the blood vessel is censored, the vasoconstriction is mediated. After that, the platelets are recruited to the wound site as shown in the animation. These platelets drive the formation of fibrin at the wound site. If we see the mechanism behind the formation of fibrin at the wound site, we see the platelets have binding site for thrombin and to that site the thrombin molecule comes in and binds and then this complex formed here acts on the soluble fibrogen and converts that into fibrin and then this fibrin protein is covalently cross-linked by factor 13A which itself is activated by thrombin molecules. Furthermore, we see these platelets secrete TGF beta, PDGF, and VEGF factors. We see the TGF beta mediates recruitment of neutrophils and monocytes, shown in the diagram, whereas the PDGF and VEGF drivers inflammation. We also get the influx of macrophages from here, shown in the diagram. Now, moving forward towards the inflammation step, where we get the recruitment of leukocytes and fibroblasts. These cells, that's leukocytes and fibroblasts, stimulates itself via autocrine signaling through a molecule that's TGF beta 1. And then we get the secretion of INF alpha, interleukin 1, and PDGF from these cells. And the interleukin 1 drives inflammation. Moreover, in this inflammation step, more inflammatory cells are recruited. We see the recruitment of lymphocytes neutrophils, monocytes, and mast cells shown in the diagram. We see the neutrophils secrete interleukin 4, 8, 18, and MCP. Then the monocytes secretes TNF alpha, interleukin 1 beta, interleukin 6, interleukin 8, and MCP1. The interleukins and TNF alpha secreted here enhances inflammation, except the interleukin 4, which inhibits inflammation. But in the early stages of wound healing, the interleukin-4 is available in minute quantities. Then at the end of inflammation, the mast cells are lost to be recruited, which secretes these interleukin-4 more and more. And we know this interleukin-4 inhibits the production of pro-inflammatory molecules, thus it lessens the inflammation. Now when the inflammation starts receding, the proliferation step is mediated where first of all we see the formation of granulation tissue and then the angiogenesis starts which have been shown in the diagram. And we also see the mast cell secretes the interleukin-13 cytokine which stimulates collagen synthesis from fibroblasts. 
now the wound bed has strengthened after that the reepitalization process kicks in where we see the keratinocytes migrates to the wound site and starts covering the wound shown in the diagram referred as keratinocyte influx we also see the matrix production and scar formation initiation now we move towards the remodeling phase that's the last phase of wound healing where first of all we see the scar is completely established then the collagens are degraded and reorganized and scar strengthens Moreover we see MMPs degrade fibrillin and other matrix proteins which takes this wound site near to its original state not completely but 50 to 60% of its original state the time frame or time scale for the wound healing is shown in the diagram where we can see the remodeling phase initiates within the weeks and can last for months and even up to years so this is what wound healing is and all the molecular mechanisms i hope you like the video if you like it give it a thumbs up to support my work on patreon or youtube and make sure to subscribe to this channel thanks